Virgo, welcome to your reading, your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. I wanted to take the time to let you know that I'm going to be do, doing something a little bit different from now on. I will be doing these love readings every week on the weekend, but I'm also adding singles readings midweek. So weekends couple readings and midweek singles readings. Okay, so let's get right into the reading. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Wands. So there's some type of stability that's coming in. I feel like some of you may be making commitments, maybe getting engaged or getting married. Okay, so, but before that happens, something needs to end. And the cards are definitely clear about that. Because I clarified these cards. Tens represents endings and beginnings. Now, I clarified the Ten of Swords in reverse, and I got the Ten of Swords in the upright. These are both tens, which represent endings. So someone is definitely feeling betrayed. This is either your partner, Virgo. This is either your energy, rather, or your partner's energy. And also clarified by the, the, two of, the Ten of Swords is the Two of Wands. So some of you are just really, really thinking about what went wrong and what caused this ending. And I feel like this ending was um, not expected because, again, we have another 10. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So I feel like this situation had something to do with the universe or God or whoever it is that you believe in. I believe in God, so I, I believe that, that this was divine intervention that came in and um, stepped in to stop the situation. Uh, the situation was very toxic. So... Um, it was time to, I guess, um, reroute your path to end that because I feel like a lot of you are really hanging on to that toxic relationship knowing that it was toxic and knowing the effects that it had on you. But it was time for that to come to an end. I feel like this was an unexpected end. When I clarified this 10, I got another 10, 10 of Pentacles. So this represents instability. This could be financial instability, and this could also be just emotional overall instability because you are not expecting this. Moving on from that, we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups could just represent that you were bored in the relationship. Um, you were feeling just uninspired. You were feeling like your, your growth was stunted. I feel like some of you are very complacent. In the relationship you felt like your growth as an individual was stunted and you just want to expand and be more and you felt like this relationship was holding you back this this card could also represent apologies being extended and apologies not being accepted this could also be um, someone extending love and you just rejecting it you are your partner's energy. Just go ahead and apply it to your situation. And when I clarified the Four of Cups, I got two cards. The first of the two was the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like there's a lot of jealousy um, going on in the situation. And someone is tired of going around in circles about something. So I feel like someone is just ready to end it. They're, they're saying, I'm, I'm tired of arguing with you. We keep arguing about the same thing. There's no resolution. Let's just end this. And I feel like you wanted the ending to be amicable, but there was just too much toxicity in it. There were too many words that were said. And there were just too many like flaring tempers and grudges as a result. So I feel like there's definitely some grudges and you're saying, no, I don't accept your apology or no, I don't want you in my space right now. Give me my time to cool off. Like this, but this, this is what that could mean too. But I definitely feel like there was a third party situation. Uh, I feel like there was an infidelities and someone's feeling jealous of that infidelity. There's definitely some feelings of insecurity. This ending and the situation surrounding the ending caused you to feel insecure. And yes, 
excuse me for repeating myself, but I feel like there's definitely a need for expansion. You felt like this relationship just was not what you wanted anymore. You felt stifled. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a practical offer that's on the table. I feel like some of you may be getting job offers. Or some of you just might want a new start. So when I went to clarify this new start, this Ace of Pentacles, uh, several cards wanted to pop out. So I won't keep these, but I will show them to you. First one is the Two of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign. But I feel like some of you are ignoring making a decision or you are just choosing to ignore or block someone out of your heart. I feel like some of you are just really stressed out, really worried and like restless. This, this situation, this ending is like taking over your mind, taking over your heart, your thoughts. And I feel like some of you, this is very hard to get past. King of Swords, like I was saying before, there are, were some very bitter words that were spoken. Whenever there's a sword card after a breakup, this represents just bitterness and um, just harsh words. No one is using their filter. They're just saying whatever it is that comes to the top of their head and just one-upping one another. Like, how can you say something to hurt the other one and you just continue to up the ante on it? And, and um, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of egos involved in the argument is, is, what it, is what I'm referring to. Okay, so then we've got the five of wands. So I feel like there's a lot of fighting, a lot of it. And I feel like some of you feel like you had to compete in your own relationship. Some of you, your partners, are just very promiscuous. These wands represent like sexual energy, sexual partners. So they had many, and I feel like maybe some secrets came out about all of these partners that your partner had. Page of Wands. So uh, I feel like some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. I feel like there's definitely some immaturity. I feel like some of you feel like you need to stand your ground. I feel like you need you feel the need to build more walls around you as if there were not enough walls around you already. You feel like you just need to protect yourself and you feel like your partner just stabbed you in the back and you feel like just very on guard. You feel like you wanted to trust your partner and they just really let you down. And you feel like they are supposed to have your best interest. And since they don't, you decide to protect yourself. Because they didn't show the respect that, that you feel like you deserved. You feel like you have to look out for your own heart because they didn't. Ace of Pentacles, so this is the, the practical offer. We got it twice here, so I feel like some, some new jobs are on the horizon for some of you. This could represent new money, stability. And some of you are probably being workaholics to get out of the situation, to get away, to get out of the home, to get away from the bickering. Because there's definitely bickering here. There's a lot of ego, a lot of one-upping. And um, and a lot of grudges. The Ace of Wands is here, so I feel like uh, some of you might be offering passion, offering a one-night stand type of deal to your partner or someone else. But you definitely decided you don't want to work on this situation anymore. This is the energy that either you or your partner is taking on. Because right next to the Ace of Pentacles... Virgo, I feel like this is your energy. Um, you are not accepting this offer. You might decide to turn the job down, I guess. Or maybe you're just feeling financially unstable and you're hoping to get that instabi that stability. And what I'm saying stability is coming in. We've got the Ace of Pentacles twice there. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. And I feel like for some of you, obviously, as what we're talking about, we got the, the Hierophant in reverse. That's talking about rebelliousness 
or just not wanting to work together. Someone, uh, or you have like a type of unconventional relationship with your partner, like a friends with benefits type of thing. So there's going to be some type of truthful information that comes out. And you may decide, you're obviously going to decide to cut someone out. So, yes, I feel like you have some type of an unconventional relationship with your partner. For some of you, it, marriages are ending. I feel like some of you want to make a change, but you're very, being very slow and methodical. You're really taking your time to think it out because of what you just went through. And this page of pentacles, this offer that's coming through, this could be an offer from your partner. But they're going to leave you out in the cold. They're not interested in trying to work it out. And this is going to end in feelings of loss and crying over spilled milk. But with this card in reverse, thankfully it is in reverse, this shows that you're healing from these feelings of loss. And we've got uh, the Emperor in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with um, an Aries. The Emperor in reverse is very immature, very egotistical. Um, verbally abusive, could be even physically abusive. But it, this is not a, a good energy to have in a love reading at all. But someone is definitely going to be left out in the cold and their offer will be turned down. Strength. So again, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Okay. So I get strong Aries energy because we've got the Emperor and the Empress. Both in the reverse. So I feel like both of you are really... It's not just one partner that's being inconsiderate. Or one is taking the high road and the other is not. I feel like it's both partners just really going at it and not seeing eye to eye on things. Um, I feel like some of you, yes, this is definitely a time of insecurity because the Empress in Reverse represents just that very thing, insecurity. So this is definitely a time of insecurity for some of you and this type of energy with the emperor does not help. I feel like your partner may be saying some really hurtful things that really put you down and question may it cause you to question your self-worth. I feel like there's a lot of unbalanced giving. I feel like someone is tired of giving more than the other partner. There's not an even, even balance of give and take in the relationship. I feel like one of them is the taker, one of them is the giver. But there's definitely strength. And there's definitely some stability that's coming in for you. I feel like some of you, after you end this, you have a marriage or something stable on the horizon. Okay. And I saw this card. I, had, I saw the queen... Of pentacles. I'm going to pull her out real quick. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. I feel like this could be the mother of your children. Or uh, some of you could just be concentrating more on your money and being workaholics. Okay. The Hierophant is here in reverse. Like I said before, some of you are going through divorces. Or you just had an unconventional relationship. And I feel like some of you are just very rebellious. You're just really done. And we've got the death card here. So it's, it's really over. And I feel like some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. The lovers came out. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. But I feel like some of you are... Um, you have to make a head or heart decision, and you make the decision to end it. And so, like I said before, some of you are being very slow and methodical about your choices. 
or you may okay so this these cards contradict each other the knight of pentacles is very slow moving he's very reliable the, the knights in uh the deck the tarot deck are um whenever you see a knight come out these are a lover type of energy but all the knights in the deck especially this one the knight of swords this is like a one night stand type of energy this is someone that's not coming into your life to stay. They have no intentions of sticking around. They're just in it for what they can get and they're out. The Knight of Pentacles is the most reliable knight in the deck because he will take the time to go slowly and he'll think about things and he'll be very methodical. So I feel like you want to think things through that's your intention yet instead of doing that instead of taking the high road i feel like some of you are just choosing to trample on boundaries and just say whatever but i feel like some of you are just truly just in a hurry to cut someone out just hastily i feel like some of you in the midst of an argument you're just going to be like i'm done I can't do this anymore and you just cut the person out page of wands so some of you are even after all of this decide to offer or this could just be a new person you decide to offer your passion to someone else after your secrets were discovered you decide to move on and probably give a new offer of passion to someone else or this could be your partner trying to come back and apologize later and offering sex as a remedy. But this offer, be careful with this because it's tied to emotional instability. I feel like some of you are not using your intuition. And some of you are not feeling very creative. And the, the Queen of Cups, she represents a mother type of energy as well. So some of you, this could be the mother or father of your child, whoever you're co-parenting with. There's definitely marriage on the horizon. We've got two cards of stability here. So I feel like some of you are moving out of this relationship that no longer serves you and you're moving into something more stable. The two of wands represents someone making a decision about a life partner. You look at, at the, the card, he's got his hand on one of the wands as if he's saying, I choose you. And he's looking at the four of wands, which represents stability, something solid. Some of you will be getting engaged and married after this ending, of course. So someone is really wanting to work on this new relationship. And again, I feel like some of you are just being workaholics. We've got the Emperor here. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries. This is a strong energy in the reading because this card came up twice. The Emperor is some is, is like a father figure. So I, I see definitely a mother and a father here in the cards. This is strong motherly energy here. Strong motherly energy here. And here's the father. I feel like there's someone in between the situation. There's definitely a three-party. Well, that's already been established. There's a three-party situation, and it's definitely evident here. Okay, but the emperor is someone that's very... He's, he represents leadership type of qualities. He's someone that has been through a lot and wants to make a change in his life for the positive someone that's tired of going around in circles and making the same mistakes this is someone that people come to for inspiration and advice so i feel like some of you embody these qualities or you could be dealing with an aries some of you could be dealing with a scorpio but this just represents that your past situation is over Yes, and then the King of Cups. Someone is emotionally, someone that's emotionally stable. He also represents a father as well. 
So Virgo, this does it for your weekly reading for couples. Again, if you are interested in, uh, if you, some of you are single and you would like um, some insight into your personal situation, or not personal situation because these are general readings, but um, I invite you to come back to my channel midweek where I will be doing the readings for singles. If these messages did not resonate with you, I invite you to take a look at the videos for your sun, moon, and rising signs. You may find the message that you need there. And if you'd like something more tailored to your personal situation, um, I am available for personal readings. I am looking at one more card that I did not mention, and forgiveness. I feel that the message is there's a need to forgive yourself and to forgive your partner and to not carry around all of the negativity that comes with harboring resentment and grudges. <clears throat> and you don't forgive the other person necessarily for their benefit. You forgive someone <clears throat> to help you be able to move forward in life. Because when we harbor grudges, it definitely affects us and it has um, long residual effects about us moving forward. It, it kind of stifles us from moving forward. So there is a need for forgiveness. Excuse my voice. I think my voice is just really tired. I'm a little hoarse right now. Okay, so with that message said, if you find that these messages did not resonate you with you or you are looking for something tailored to your personal experience, I am available for personal readings. And you can book a reading with me by checking in the description box or contacting me at angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. I want to thank all of you that commented and subscribed and donated to my channel. It is much appreciated. And I thank you for stopping and taking a look at my videos. I look forward to speaking with you again next week, Virgo, next weekend, to see. Um, I, I'm really in, inspired and excited to see what the next week brings. All right, Virgo, until next week, I love you all. And I will see you next week. Until then.